Hello everyone, this is Saiful Islam Shihab. Welcome to my video tutorial. Today I am going talking about sequence diagram and how to use sequence diagram and why we use sequence diagram. So first of all, we need to know what is sequence diagram. Sequence diagrams commonly used by developers model the interactions between object in a single use case. Basically, it is used primarily to show the interaction between object in the sequential order that those interactions occur then why we use sequence diagram a sequence diagram is a good diagram to use to document a system's requirement and to flush out a system's design the reason the sequence diagram is so useful is because it shows the interaction logic between the objects in the system in the time order that the interactions take place there are many key parts in sequence diagram Lifeline notation. A, a sequence diagram is made up to several of these lifeline notation. Uh, it represents the different object that interact with each other in the system. Then activation bars. This is the activation bars. Um, it indicates that an object is active during an interaction between two objects, and this blue shape is indicate that the object is now then there are several message type in sequence diagram like mm, a synchronous message a synchronous message is used to when the sender wait for the receiver to process the message and return before carrying on with other messages then a synchronous message an async message is used when the message caller does not wait for the receiver to process the message and return before sending other message to the object within the system. Then return message. A return message is you indicate that the message receiver is done processing the message and is returned control over the message caller. Then reflexive message. It is, um, when a object sends a message to itself, it's called a reflexive message now I will give an example about uh, online system uh, using sequence diagram so there are four objects in in this system like admin customer system and delivery so here we can see uh, between admin and system there's a sync message and this blue, uh, this blue shape indicates that the admin, the admin is active now and system is active now. When an admin requests to add a product record to the system, then the system will return a status to me. Then this is the reflexive message because uh, here customer do it himself. Then between customer and system, when customer want to show some product, Mm, then the system will uh, display all products to the customer. Then between customer and system, customer request order to the system, the system uh, return a state to the customer. Then between admin and system, when admin wants the order request to the system, the system will show all the order requests to the admin. And then between customer and delivery boy, customer uh, receive order then the customer will pay the bill to the delivery boy and delivery boy will give a status to the customer. Then between admin and delivery boy, when admin requests to deliver a product to the delivery boy, the delivery boy will return a status to the admin. So, so this is the simple example of sequence diagram. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video.